<laughs> now we move to the back. Chris Cruz with the Road Warriors. Hawk says they've been underdogs all their lives. What? Yeah. Come on, come on. Uh, Crap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, whatever, Hawk. Anyway, uh, they've been uh, underdogs all their lives. I don't know where you got that one. Uh, lighting is terrible. Uh, if, we've already brought this up. The lighting in the back was yeah. awful. I didn't even realise yeah. Paul Ellering was in the back until about 10, 20 <laughs> seconds in. Because he was just, he just sort of, I don't know, just, just yeah. terrible lighting. Anyway, uh, I also wrote that, you know, the underdog warriors... As we're, as we're now probably going to be calling them, <laughs> were paid crazy money for back in the day, guaranteed contracts. Do you remember what they were getting paid in the latter days? I believe the number was somewhere in the 650 to 800 range, which was gigantic money then. Is this each um, or both? Both, each, each of them. Each, each. Yes. And, and Ellering, I'm sure, wasn't far behind. You know, it's uh, uh, Paul, by the way, a super intelligent man. Uh, very, very much into the uh, uh, financials. Always walked around the Wall Street Journal on the cell, on the payphone all day long. And he carried a little graph tablet around with him. And he would chart out like each hour his stocks. Meticulous on this. Uh, I should, should have paid attention to that learning tree a little bit. Uh, but yeah, the, 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 the lighting stuff. And I, again, like just draw the juxtaposition. When you watch WWF this time, and, and probably any time since Vince took over, their production was phenomenal, right? Everything was crisp and perfect. Uh, and then here's WCW chugging up behind, trying to do it on the shoestring budget and save money here and there. Uh, and, you know, and, and it, it, it bears out in places like that. Do you know Paul Ellering, Ellering is back in WWE again on screen? He's, I, he's the I manager know. of um, Authors of Pain, I think. He he used to really? be the manager of them in NXT, and then when they went to the main roster, they got rid of Paul, and now Paul's back with them. So it's nice. He's 70 oh. years old and back uh, back on TV, which is cool. Good for him. I, I love Paul. Paul's just one of those guys you, know, you sit down and have a great conversation with, uh, you know, and just the way he carries himself. You know, he, he's... Just a really, really cool dude. 